is Lorenzo Brignone, I'm a robotics engineer and I work with IFREMER, which is the uh, French National Oceanographic Institute. And uh, I have worked on the CORAL project since its beginning uh, as a lead uh, engineer in charge. Good morning, my name is Thomas Rohr. I'm business manager within uh, ECA Group and I've been working with Lorenzo and IFREMER for this program. The CORAL project is a technology development program that has been originally funded by the European Union, the French state, and the IFREMER, the French National Oceanographic Institute. The main aim of this program is to develop a new deep diving research platform, autonomous platform, to uh, uh, address the requirements of the scientific community, especially targeting deep diving and deep exploration. Within this program, IFREMER has uh, partnered up with ECA Group for the development of the deep diving AUV. Yes, for, for, for ECA Group was an amazing opportunity to work again because we had the opportunity some years ago already to work for a very deep uh, water operation system. Besides, to work with them for these uh, projects is for ECA the opportunity to develop new technology up to 6,000 meter water depths, a new project for a new opportunities and new missions in this world. The role of IFREMER in the CORAL project was, first of all, to be the interface with the scientific community, which was at the, at the foundation of the technological and functional requirement for this new system. And uh, in order to uh, provide an answer to these requirements, IFREMER has teamed up with a number of technological partners, uh, of which ECA Group uh, is, of course, part in the uh, uh, development of the technology that is required for this deep diving AUV to operate and to meet the challenges which arise from the scientific requirements. The role of ECA Group doing this project, uh, it is actually quite simple. Uh, try to find the best solution to fit uh, IFMR requirements. So basically, uh, to understand what they need in terms of scientific purposes. During this, this project, the, the, the most challenging part was First of all, to understand the physical constraints to work uh, to such depths, six, seven meter water depths. Uh, secondly, to understand the operational constraint of our customers, basically to be able to work within any kind of vessel from IFREMER. This system, this solution is compatible within all the, 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 the fleet of IFREMER. This is very important for them. What will be the missions of this new AUV? Uh, this new AUV is designed to uh, match uh, the scientific requirements uh, to improve the knowledge of the uh, phenomena and the environments in the deep water ecosystems. Uh, in order to do so, this AUV will integrate the capability of large-scale surveying with sonars and uh, multi-beam echo-sounders, but also the ability to match this information with data from other sensors and other scientific equipment which will be fitted to the vehicle at the same time in what we call a modular payload uh, compartment. Uh, through this complementary information uh, the aim and the ambition which is behind the design of this vehicle is to provide the scientific end user with a uh, redundant set of information in order to have a deeper understanding of the complex uh, geophysical, chemical, biological phenomena that occur in the deep water. What are the three key features that make this UV, AUV unique? Well, uh, to simplify, we could say that uh, throughout this project, IFREMER and ECA Group have worked on the development of this system, uh, focusing on, on three key features. First of all is the ability to integrate a large number of sensors and scientific equipment which will be complementarily used in the same, during the same dive. Uh, as a second key feature is uh, the, ability, the ability to optimize uh, the operational dive. And this translates into uh, the ability to integrate uh, sufficient energy resources, but also to integrate the actuators that allow the AUV to uh, perform different functional uh, missions, uh, namely the large-scale surveying, but also the close inspection next to the seabed. And lastly, but perhaps more importantly for an autonomous vehicle, is 
uh, the work that has been done in developing the uh, onboard and embedded autonomy uh, of the system that could be summarized as a, a decisional autonomy for the AUV. Because in, in such large-scale and long-lasting autonomous missions, it is impossible to uh, pre-plan each and every action of the AUV. And we, we therefore, therefore, we need to shift to paradigms in which the AUV processes the data that is collected in real time and addresses and modifies its mission profile to match the requirements of the end goal of the scientist. When uh, the new AUV will be in the water, First rendezvous will be in a few few weeks now. The, the equipment finished the productions. Uh, next year, 2021, uh, we're going to, have to start with the first operational trials with iframe mm -hmm. uh, We work together actually to to start up this equipment with them uh, within their ships. And 2022, the first real operational missions uh, for the scientific uh, purposes. Which other application do we have in vision? Well, we have today a lot of opportunities using this equipment. First of all, we can talk about search and rescue, for instance, how to detect and, and search and, and how to recover something. Uh, this equipment will help uh, companies and industry to do that. For scientific purposes, of course, I remember it's a great example, deep mining, environmental studies, uh, natural resources, and also all industry, they may be interesting to gather more information in deep, deep sea. Telecommunication, uh, most of the people don't know that this technology uh, can fit for, for this industry. Uh, today there is a lot of opportunities thanks to that equipment and our role today is to explain to the industry how this technology can be beneficial for them and we will help them to do that.